we'll get into our last presentation the presentation is on in vitro starch digestibility resistant starch and amylose contents in sri lankan finger millet varieties there are five presenters sgs jayawardena jkrr samarasekara g h o m h t r h i gunaratna s d masendra and r banerjee good afternoon everyone uh, today i'm going to present a study on in vitro starch digestibility resistant starch and amylose contents of sri lankan finger millet varieties first of all i would like to give an introduction starch is the most common uh, carbohydrate in the human diet and it's a polysaccharide con consisting of large number of glucose molecules joined by uh, glycosidic bonds and there are two types of molecules amylose and amylopectin amylose is a linear molecule containing glucose molecules lined uh, end to end and, am and amylopectin is a uh, somewhat a branched molecule containing glucose molecules attached to one another at different angles producing highly branched uh, chains in general uh, um, uh, starch contains about 20 to 25 percent amylose and 75 to 80 percent of amylopectin by weight uh, having branched chains amylopectin allows a greater access to digestive enzymes and amylose is more resistant to digestive enzymes when compared with amylopectin therefore the ratio of amylose to amylopectin affects the digestion of starch Uh, on the basis of its digestibility starch can be classified into three groups rapidly digestible starch slowly digestible starch and resistant starch rapidly digestible starch or rds is the amount of starch which is converted into glucose within 20 minutes of enzyme digestion and it is digested and absorbed rapidly in the small intestine and rapidly increases the blood glucose level and it can't control the energy intake SDS is the amount of starch converted into glucose between 20 to 120 minutes of enzyme digestion and it is digested slowly throughout the small intestine and uh, leading uh, to uh, sustained glucose uh, release and it can control energy intake resistant starch refers to the total amount of starch and starch products of starch degradation that resist digestion as they pass throughout the gi tract of healthy people it is not hydrolyzed into deep glucose uh, in the small intestine but is but it is then uh, fermented in the large intestine there are five types of resistant starch uh, resistant starch is as i told you resistant starch is fermented by the resident bacteria in the large intestine generating a range of beneficial changes these uh, can impact digestive health in numerous ways Uh, it can uh, beneficially increases the stool bulk and prevents constipation encourages the growth of healthy bacteria in the bowel produces short chain fatty acids and reduces uh, intestinal ph and uh, the production of potentially harmful secondary bile acids ammonia and phenols and then it uh, can prevents the degradation of mucus layer within the colon and also by reducing the stomach chain emptying time by reducing the food intake reducing the fat accumulation and reducing the calorie intake resistant starch can uh, facilitate the weight control of the people who are suffering from obesity and also it can imp uh, it improves glucose regulation in diabetes reduces uh, blood cholesterol and triglyceride levels and also enhances the absorption of minerals functional foods are uh, foods or food components which containing biologically active compounds which exerts a beneficial effect on host health or uh, reduce the risk of chronic diseases apart from the basic nutritional functions and uh, now consumer preference for functional foods and nutraceuticals is on the increase worldwide and resistant starch is among the bioactive components attracting consumers uh, interest especially those who are suffering from diabetes uh, obesity and other related diseases Finger millet is one of the most important small millets in the tropics and in Sri Lanka it is commonly cultivated and consumed since uh, ancient times and it is well known for its health benefits so considering all these facts uh, the objective of this study was to determine the in, in vitro starch digestibility resistant starch contents and amylose contents of Sri Lankan finger millet varieties now let's see the materials and methodology 
Samples of locally grown finger millet varieties recommended by the Department of Agriculture, namely Ravi, Ravana, and Osha, they were collected from Field Crop Research and Development uh, Center, Mahailukpalam. Seeds were thoroughly washed, dried, milled, and flour samples were prepared and used for the analysis. And this is a method which was used to determine RDS and SDS contents. I'm not going to uh, describe the steps. And this is the method which was used to determine the resistant starch content. And in both methods, finally, glucose contents were uh, determined using the gopod assay. And there, uh, cornstarch was used as the control, and the uh, anhydrous D-glucose was used to uh, plot the standard curve. And these equations were used to calculate RDS, SDS, total starch, and resistant starch contents. And to determine amylose contents of starch, First, starch was isolated using this uh, method, and then amylose content was determined using this method. And data were statistically analyzed. Now let's see the results and discussion. Uh, in table one, you can see the RDS, SDS, and resistant starch contents of uh, finger millet varieties. And in table two, you can see total starch and amylose contents of finger millet varieties. Uh, RDS, SDS, RDS, resistant starch, and amylose contents of all three finger millet varieties, there were no significant difference. Uh, and also in uh, SDS and uh, total starch contents of Ravi, Ravana, and Oshada, there were no significant difference, but those were significantly higher than uh, SDS and total starch contents of Ravi. And uh, the variety containing the highest amylose content, that is Oshada, had the highest resistant starch content. When amylose contents of all three finger millet varieties were compared with resistant starch contents, there was a positive correlation, positive linear correlation we observed. And when uh, these amylose contents were compared with uh, average SDS contents, again a positive linear correlation was observed. You can uh, see it uh, there. And there were no correlation between amylose and uh, RDS contents. So we can uh, say that uh, the resistance to uh, enzyme digestion of finger millet starch granules may come from amylose molecules, we can predict. And we have come to the conclusion there were no significant differences among resistant starch and amylose contents of the three finger millet varieties, and the resistance to enzymatic digestion of finger millet starch granules may come from the amylose molecules. And because of the resistant starch content, there is a potential of using Sri Lankan finger millet varieties in developing functional foods which are rich in resistant starch, and here are some of my references. And I would like to acknowledge financial assistance from Indian Sri Lankan Intergovernmental Science and Technology Cooperation Program, and thank you all for listening. Thank you very much for the interesting presentation. Now it's time for discussion. These varieties are also selected varieties, right? Not hybrids. Uh, no. How did you mill the samples? Or did you purchase it from the market? No, no, we collected from uh, Field Crop Research and Development Center, Mahalupal. The finger millet sample, or did you mill it? We got the seeds. We got the seeds. Yeah, we got the seeds, and then we made the plant. Because one area where you have to be concerned is that milling. If you mill it too much, you remove some of the fiber. Yeah. So you we have to control the, the milling. Yeah. It's just like milling rice. Rice, you can see when you mill it, when you polish it to a higher degree, you can see it. But finger millet, you can't see it. You just remove the outer layers. So if you included some of those Indian hybrids, you could have the same the difference. Yes. Because here there's not much difference because these are selections. These are local, all local varieties selected, yes. not the improved varieties, yes, only the selections. So that's why you are not seeing any difference. Interesting work. Probably somebody has to continue it. Any other questions? No, okay, thank you very much.